So, game two is Arabia, as we can see. It's a green version of standard Arabia. And we are on the point of view from Fox Valentine, better known as Emin. Okay, he's playing as Hans, and he's the pocket. His enemy pocket would be Jacobo, also Hans. Okay, so that is mirrored. Mongols here for Dalgic. He's up against Tokiwa as Mayans. So, Mongols against Mayans. And in the north we have also probably, yeah, Mongols for Dodonpa and Mayans for Jokband. Okay, I'm gonna speed up the Dark Age a little. Maybe I'm gonna follow here the exploration from Dolgic for a little. Because... It kind of helps if you know what the player has explored and what not. Is he still missing... ...boars or something? No, he just wanted to push in the deal, okay. I think the Turkish team feels much more comfortable on Arabia. It's the map they play the most, that's for sure. But yeah, not so much here. What you see from Dalgic just pushing in the deer. Let's check the other side. Jock band. Has he found his enemy? Maybe he saw something, but it doesn't show here on the fog of war. Wondering what he's exploring here. Is he looking for the deer because he found his his boars? Oh, he was laming a boar. Look at that. He already has two under the town center, and there's a third one. So that's what he found here. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. Houses were built, and meanwhile, um, Jock Band managed to to lame the boar here from Dodonpa. All right. Eric's coming up. He's Mayan, so I kind of expected. Pushing in a deer. Wow, he's really trying to get in everything there. <laughs> Stole the boar, bringing in deer. It. It'll be really in a nice position. No walls from the Dodonpa. He could easily wall from these houses towards the forest. Maybe even here. But then it's, it's really easy to wall. Yeah, Dodonpa could wall if you want it here. He does have a nice map. Yeah, moving in and out. The Josh just idling the villagers a little. They obviously have a hill bonus here. It's important to, to remember. Moved out kind of far, so he's idling a lot. The other side, let's see, Dolgic walling just needs to complete the wall here. And Duckband clicked up to fuel. Drush is moving around the forest now. Okay, so Dodonpa closed the gap here with two ranges. Makes a lot of sense. Dodonpa expected it. Had the scout there already, and now Jokpan has moved to the pocket, I guess. It's to fight off the wolf, but... Yeah, I think Dodonpa told his pocket what's happening. So the wood here is walled, and at the berries here, that's enough villagers to fight these militia. Should be careful, though. And forest wall, yep. This 
gold here as well as well. I mean went up with colors sorry. Went up to castle with a stable and a blacksmith. And now the Donpa is sending a few archers. But Jack Band expected here with three boars. Um managed to click up to castle really fast. 30% already. Boarding now. Let's see here. These archers will be able to hit the the wood. Changing the point of view. Four before on. Has he scouted it? Yes, he knows where to go. And there he is, already between the TC and the lumber. So nice one. He got three villagers. And he can idle the wood here. So definitely worth it already. He could sneak through here. But probably not worth it because it's gonna be crossbows any second now. And it's gonna be more, that's for sure. I mean, moving in two nights. So, these archers won't do much anymore. What's um, Chocobo doing? I had a hard time here with this rush, as it seems. Second town center coming up. And one at the gold, I like that. It's front gold, so it keeps it safe. Ah, Amin and Chocobo not noticing that they're running the same spot, basically. Try to get out of there. Yeah, but now Duck Band obviously has a small advantage. He's in castle already. Let's see what Tokiwa is doing. His Mayans got a nice TC at his front gold. And against Mongols. Oh, interesting one. Mongols going knights in castle age. Makes sense because Mayan archers are cheaper and it's it's a race you cannot really win as Mongols. You don't get an eco bonus, you don't get the cheaper archers, so knights make a lot of sense here. Lots of flaring going on. Teams trying to coordinate their armies. And yeah. Emin and Jack Band joining their forces. But Dunpa has a lot of crossbows himself though. Should use the hill. Ah, where is Emin going? Not a good fight here for the Turkish team. Lost some archers. But now to Kobo losing knights. Now that's a nice corner for the Donpa. No point trying to hit it. On the other side, let's see how the knights are doing. Oh look at that, he's actually not even trying to hit green. He's going Directly, where actually for the pocket or for the Dompa? Where is he going? Yes, joined with Amin and he's hitting Jacobo now. And now it's a lot of knights. Uh, can he enter? Uh, close, but no. This gold here is still vulnerable. There's a TC, but the knights have already plus two defense. They can fight under sounds under fire for ages. No fletching, obviously. Usually you would not get that as a pocket if you don't have to. Good amount of archers for both here. Job point and the Dalpa. Pretty similar in score. But again, um, Mongols 
Chemo. Do have a disadvantage against Mayans and Dolgic here. He's, he's playing the smart, he's going for knights and he's not even trying to fight. Um, Green here who has a lot of town centers and the castle even. He's trying to hit the pocket. See two knights here. Here are a lot of villagers. And I mean moved into green now. Tokoba is always one step behind with his knights, not doing serious damage. Scores are still close, 3,900 for both teams, but Turkey is, is pushing all over the place um, and their economies are fine. Good fight here for our left hand. Managed to take out a lot of archers from Dog Band. He was just standing around here with his archers, far from his base. Castle just went up here for the Dunbar, getting out the first Mangudon. Let's compare to Cobol maybe to, uh, to Amin. Um, 105 population. And how many villagers? Actually, 86. While Amin is on 110, 111 villagers now. So, big advantage. Obviously, the raiding had an effect. That town center here you know, came down for Tokiwa, actually. Yeah, it's a lot of knights for Dolce. And yeah, they can fight this. Tokoro clicked up to Imperial. Let's go to Emin. Peace much up already. Yep, 99% and here we are. Jock Band preparing a push. Got one castle in front of his goals, that's smart. And going for a second castle on a hill here. And we might even reach the gold here. Yep. And he transitioned into plumed archers. It's not crossbows anymore. Also, as Mayans, you should be up to Imperial way faster. Let's check. That's Jack Burns. And it is Imperial already. Let's check the Don Palm. Also Imperial. Villagers here just moved on. I wonder whether this castle here is smart. I mean, there's trebuchets moving this way. I might start firing before the castle goes up. And Emin is pretty much everywhere now. You can see him. This side raiding is hitting the dawn power and yeah, supporting Jack Oh, big hit here from Amin against Jokobo. As you can see, a lot of dead yellow knights. Cavalier is for Jokobo. Paladin is already for Amin. Going for the normal score again. Oops, plus the game. Big fight going on. Okay, North Japan can hold for now. Wow, a lot of plumes moving in now from green. What is what is blue doing? Green shouldn't 
have any army left now. I mean, we sent so many in here. Not much to protect and it looks like blue is getting ready to, to push. Good amount of power in there. Trebuchets. Fourth one moving in. And going for this castle. And there's blue pushing in while, as I already said, green doesn't have much to defend. Just a few plumes that got created in the zone. And blue is pushing in. Cut rounds. We saw this mines. Maybe down in the back. Yeah, not a good move here from Green. It was, it was really not crucial here to help out. The don't want to be totally well fine, more or less. And now Green is just losing half his base. The don't want to be able to get down now. Maybe. Yeah, look at that. Duckband has two archers placed in the corner. Smart one. And I think he's walling this side now. Yeah, looks like it. So Japan won't have a full trade here. Daljik obviously here needs to retreat. He can't go two versus one. I mean plumes against Mangadai is, is tricky enough, but Enemy Mangadai, no way. Anyway, Dodonpa needs to retreat now because obviously Emi and Lord push him. It's my throw here from Emi taking out the onagers. And there's the GG. Probably noticed that they can't trade and Turkey was pushing the entire game and Japan defending, losing ground on this side. The Donpa having a hard time defending here in the north. So that makes the score 1 to 1. Let me fix the scoreboard. Okay, in this quarterfinal here of the RTS League season 35. 1 to 1, power of Japan and the Turkish team. <laughs> Don't know how to how to call that. It's it's just a phase. Okay, checking the achievements real quick. Emin having a nice ratio. Jacobo was going for Paladins too, but he lost more than he killed. Equal here for the Donpa and Tokiwa, yeah, and this is what I mean. Compared to Jock Band, who was also a Mayan, Jock Band managed to kill more units, and Tokiwa lost 40 more units than he killed. Trade was not a big, yeah, zero trade, and no real slinging going on. The Donpa slinging a little bit. Sending tributes rather, not really slinging. Okay, let's go back. <laughs>